In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to slice your models in Chittabox. Slicing in Chittabox is easy. When you finish editing your models and slice settings, make sure the Common Settings tab is selected, and then click the Slice button. The program will start to slice your model, and when it is completed, you will be brought to the Slice Preview screen. This screen is where you can preview your sliced models and make final adjustments before you save them as a printable file and put it into your printer. The majority of this screen is the preview of your sliced models, which allows you to see what they would look like when printed. It is divided into two windows. The model preview window on the left, and the slice preview window on the right. With the model preview window, you can view the models just like what you do in the editing screen. The slice preview window allows you to see the slice image of each layer and check how it will be printed. You can preview a specific layer. You can do that by dragging the preview sliders up or down until you're at the layer you want. If you know the exact number of the layer you're looking for, you can enter it in the preview layer input box. You can also use the arrows inside the box to move up or down one layer at a time. Chittabox has a powerful feature called Island Detection, which allows you to detect islands or overhangs on your models. To run the detection, click the Detect Islands button at upper left or the Show Island Layers icon at upper right. The island detection feature will be covered in more details in a later video. Below the two windows are the Print Parameter Calibration panel, where you're able to view and readjust some of the print settings you've set. On the right of the screen is the Print Information column. Here you'll see information like the machine and resin you've chosen, the approximate weight and volume of your models, and the estimated time and money this print would cost. Note that if you've disabled the Calculate the Volume when slicing option in the software settings, you won't see the volume, weight, and money information here. But the slice speed will be faster. If you're satisfied with your sliced model and the print settings, then it's time to output the file to your printer. If your printer supports the network sending feature, that is, transferring the file to your printer through network connection, you can click the network sending button and send the sliced file wirelessly. Otherwise, just click the Save button to save the slice file to the location you want. In case you still want to do some editing for your models, or slice other ones, click the Back button, and you will be brought back to the editing screen.